Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, hope you're all keeping well. We're up extremely early today because uh, we had a bit of a malfunction. Yes, a malfunction yesterday. And with the help of this machine here, the man that owns it, that's Brendan Morton. <laughs> um, left the light on the van the other night, and lo and behold, the uh, battery was dead. And uh, Brendan Morton was just in with the whole family. And uh, hmm, I'm in trouble. Sort out. So, to Brendan Morton, thanks a million. We got the road and we're ready to rock and roll. Streets look like, and maybe I get to chat to Ruth Hillingwood. <laughs> just walks into the scene. Ruth, how's it going? Great, great. Ruth, uh, the, the town is uh, literally being serviced and getting ready for uh, its third day of the flat. Third day, yes. Uh, how is your day's been going? Brilliant. I was doing a tour yesterday. Look at this. Seven, 70 people came along. 70? There was 370, Ruth. <laughs> you, were, you were like fast. the Pipe Piper. <laughs> And I'll be doing it again today. What time? Uh, 11 o'clock in the Market Square. It right. takes about 90 minutes. Yeah. Just around the town centre. So anyone who's around, uh, very welcome to come along. It's free. It's, 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 it's a great day for us. Uh, so really, is it the history of Mullingar? The history doing? of Mullingar, yeah. yeah. The story of the town, the food, the food, the food, the food, the food, the the food, 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 the Back in uh, and well, we'll walk up a bit because this will be low. We'll, yeah. we'll go this way because that machine is low. <laughs> and uh, St. Mary's Hall in Bishop's Gate Street is where the very first flower was held. It's hard to imagine, Ray, that in 1951 there were about 400 people right. who got the first flower, including uh, 13 year old Tiny Maloney. Uh, wow! So, but oh my the, God. the founders of flower. Come back now. Don't think they would believe what the people see. A um, million people from all over the world. Of course, it's good. Australian, and it's just incredible. Uh, it is incredible, and uh, I just turned this around because we get some light in our faces. Yes. I got a bit of time. Call me some cream in Paul yesterday, no? Uh, no, but I will today because I think before it comes. Family members of 
I mean, Irish music is safe. It is definitely safe. I mean, when back in 1951, we really were afraid it was going to disappear from something that had been going into the square and something that went on in the war. And now it's, you know, there front and center. And it's been saved by people of no Irish heritage at all. Well, it's actually we go on traditional music that's in every country. I mean, we've gone through all the types of music, you know. Yeah. And we've gone through all the rock and roll, and now we've gone through the hip hop. And then I don't know the revival. I think of traditional music at the level of every country. Yeah. Is probably going to creep in, maybe into hip hop or maybe into the uh, traditional. Traditional music was part of her music. She sang that song, she sang that prayer from the late day show years and years ago. And I, you know, I mean, only, she was part of the music as well. And, and fair enough, we all just said, yeah, that's fair enough, she did the whole lot. And then she passes and all this material arrives yes. and regenerates. But uh, I remember just singing that prayer and we learned it at school. Yes. And it's in your own in your own heart, right? But uh, yeah, yeah Sinead is um, definitely been thought of in this week as well Absolutely. in traditional music. Yeah. But uh, look, uh, Ruth, thanks a million. Thank it's you, unusual right? that I mean my bus broke down, right? Oh, right. And I, I, I was lucky enough to get Brenda Morta to give me a hand and uh, he left in a big charger for me. Yes. And now I've been running around all morning. I was up in Midi Watches because I collected at Millie's. Yes. And then I walked down and I got a, look, a hand by um, Paul who was heading to Dublin. And Paul was at the, at the examiner. Yes. He yep. gave me a hand with my bicycle. Brilliant. <laughs> Paul, uh, Paul is Dunham, isn't he? Yes. And, uh, and then he's gone. Yeah. And uh, he got me then the bike and this child. So he he's made it all the way. And then I meet him with Billy Moore. Moningar's legend. Ruth, yeah. it's a pleasure. And yourself, Ray. We're looking forward to seeing you all day. You really do. Thank Enjoy you. It. Bye for now. So there you are. You never know who you're going to meet at any hour of the time, any hour of the day in Moningar. So uh, thanks for looking in, folks. Hope you can hear that nice and clear. And uh, as I said, we had the chance to speak to you. Um, one of our legend, um, Ruth Illingworth, uh, one of the best historians I'd say in Ireland. I and mean, uh, if you ask Ruth about anything associated with history or anything like that, she will fill you in. So right, I'm going to do another little bit of work. I have a few jobs to catch up on and we'll get back to you later on during the day. So um, thanks for being on board and uh, always feel free to share our post. And, uh, if you want to contact me, send me a message and uh, if you want to play their music on the bus, uh, give us a shout about that as well. So, good morning to you all and uh, wishing you a super day from, as we call it, the centre of the universe. Bye for now.